everybody my name is Hong Nguyen welcome to Golden Nugget book review so if you guys are new to the channel thank you for tuning in and in this channel what I do is I grab one golden nugget out of a book that I'm reading and I share it with you guys under five minutes and the books that I read nonfiction all have to do with self-help fitness wealth psychology history stuff that I I personally enjoy reading and I think that are uh, beneficial beneficial to uh, to sharing and talk about this uh, the, the the knowledge that I get from these books. So <clears throat> Today's book the happiness hypothesis. This is actually if I'm not mistaken the second video I make on this book because <clears throat> once again Sometimes you have books that only have one You know golden nugget, but other times and then a lot of times I find when you have good quality material good quality information from a credible source you have a ton, a ton of gems. So this was probably the second one or the third one. Anyways, let's dive in. So what I want to talk about today in the happiness hypothesis, this book is about blending ancient wisdom with uh, modern research, <clears throat> modern scientific research to see, to, to see what causes us to be unhappy and what makes us happy, you know? So we could live uh, a good life, right? Okay, so here are a couple of things that will mess with your happiness and that you never really adapt to. So the first thing is noise. Okay, so you never really adapt to high levels of noise. Our brains aren't wired that way. Like I'm not going to get into endless details about it. If you guys are interested, then I'll put a link down below and you guys could just go check out the book. So noise, you never get used to it. So if you live in a very noisy or work in a very noisy environment, it stresses you out. It, it creates cortisol, cortisol levels and so on and you never really adapt to it, okay? Uh, commuting, if you guys commute very, uh, very long to go to work, that too, stress, cortisol, you never really adapt to it, okay? Because uh, we're, we're just not wired that way, like, you know? Uh, what it is is that a couple of hundred years ago, I mean, our bodies evolved a certain way over thousands and thousands of years, okay? And it's only recently that this whole uh, thing with technology, society, agriculture, uh, industrialism, and all that just came, boom, one shot, and now it's just like all over the place, you know? It's crazy. So commuting is the second one. The other one is lack of control. So. For example, if you live in a noisy environment, but you you have control, you could actually turn it off when you want, then it's not as bad. But if you can't, that's when it messes with you too. So then the stress level goes up, you know? Let's say, for example, uh, the author in this book gives uh, an example of a person who lives at the corner of a street, well, that he once lived at a corner of a street uh, of a big intersection, and it was noisy as heck, and it, it drove him crazy, <clears throat> you know? Especially because you can't control it. It's not like he had his windows. He could just close the windows and the noise would not go through. It would always go through anyway and it would drive him nuts. Um, so that's the third thing. The other thing is shame. So people, if you have something that you're very shameful about, you have to find a way to deal with it. Because that in itself, it's very, like, it messes with your happiness, you know. Um, so let's see here. And the last one is relationships. So the quality of your relationships. Uh, messes with your happiness level. So if you have good relationships, obviously it's going to make you very happy because uh, on another note where we evolved because we're, the way we did in terms of society because we're ultra social as a species. We're the only species like this. You know, we gossip, we talk, we're able to pass on information, we gather in groups, like-minded groups and we do stuff, you know. So relationships is very important, okay. Um, if you have bad ones, and I'm sure you, you guys all, everybody's been through bad relationships, you know, friends, uh, loved ones, um, partners, whatever. So when those go wrong, man, you, you, don't, you don't feel good. You're not happy, man. So that's it for this, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope it was helpful. So that's my goal in this, uh, in, this, uh, in this channel is really to share these type of videos, this type of information that I get from books. <clears throat> And, you know, that information that I find super interesting and useful and practical. So that's it for this one, guys. We're about four minutes and 40, almost five minutes. So thank you very much. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and done. See you in the next one.